Hey everyone, my name is Mars, like the planet, and this is Housewarming. So I quickly just wanted to go over why and what I did to get this live edge, um, edging I think that it's called, in my garden. So if you are interested in seeing the start to finish process of this garden, I've been developing this garden space, the front and the back of my house, um, for the last about two years. I have an entire time lapse from start to finish that I will definitely uh, link down below if you wanna check out from uh, day one to now how we got to this space. But I originally just had the black plastic edging around my garden. Now this was working pretty well, but our grass just kept growing underneath and over this edging. It really wasn't doing a good job. Since Bermuda grass really liked to trail out and kind of like attack other spaces, this just was not a feasible like long-term solution for me. So I decided to go with a live edge. Now I did a lot of research and there were so many tools that people were recommending that I use. They were saying that I needed to use a flat shovel. They were saying that I need to use a specific type of edging shovel. They were saying to get machinery. Now all of those ways are perfectly fine if that's what you wanna use to edge your garden. There is no wrong way to do this because at the end of the day, this is your garden and you should do whatever you want. Now, the only shovel I had was not the type of shovel that people were recommending, a flat shovel. I had like the curved beveled one. Um, so I was kind of hesitant on if this would actually work because I really didn't want to spend money on, you know, getting a brand new shovel just to edge my garden. Now, I know some people would say, oh, if you want it perfect, you would have bought it anyways, but hey, I, I did with what I had and it worked out perfectly fine and I'm happy with it so that's all that matters and the technique that I used is still the same no matter what type of tool you are using. All I did was I pulled up the edging and then I went down around my garden space and I went straight down. Now the depth that you go is completely up to you. I've seen some live edges that are only you know half an inch and I've seen some that are really really deep. I just went a depth that was comfortable for me. I was really not trying to be precise because once again this is a live edge so as it rains, as as I add mulch, as I add plants, as the grass grows, as things move around because it's nature, the edge is going to change and evolve. So I just went around and I made a straight line all around my garden bed. Then what makes the live edge is as you've gone around and made this straight line or indent with your shovel, then you want to come back at a 45 degree angle and just take out that chunk of soil and grass. So what I first did was I went around the garden bed with my shovel and just made indents on a straight vertical angle. Then I came back in at a 45 degree angle and basically made a, I don't know, triangle shape and I removed that piece of soil or grass. The easiest thing you can do is to wet the area first just so the grass and the dirt comes out in chunks. And I actually repurposed this grass and brought it to the other side of my yard and I filled in some ball spots that I had there so the grass did not go to waste. I I will say that this project was fairly simple and straightforward. It is only two cuts that you are making to form this live edge, the vertical cut and then the 45 degree cut. Now, because I was not using the correct shovel, there were a few indents that I did have to smooth out, but I did think that the project kind of went off um, without a hitch. I really didn't have any problems using the wrong shovel or the wrong tool. I thought that it worked perfectly fine for me. Now, while I have not mulched yet, the idea is that since you have this live edge, the mulch is just going to come and settle into to this edge it's not going to go into the grass also because you have this live edge the roots from the grass are not going to be able to grow through once they touch the air they're going to stop so that prevents the grass from growing into your garden bed so it has you know a two-fold method now this is something that i thought was fairly easy to do and fairly easy to follow so i really hope that you found this tutorial helpful and if you try it out just let me know once again i will continue to give you guys updates on my garden i have not mulched yet or anything like that just because honestly it's 100 degrees outside in south louisiana and i'm really not just into that right now but I post new videos every single Wednesday, so it does help out my small channel if you give this video a thumbs up, if you give this video a comment, if you share it with your friends, or if you subscribe, it is absolutely free. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.